If you're successful in the initial stages of the application process, you will usually be asked to attend an interview. Most PhD interviews will require you to give a short presentation and will be followed by questions on your talk. Usually, all applicants being interviewed will be asked broader questions and these are the same for everyone. If you have any specific needs or requirements for the interview or presentation, make sure you bring these up with the organisers in advance so they can be accommodated. So, what makes a good presentation? You may be given a specific topic area or it may be left more general. Either way, ensure your talk demonstrates your energy and passion in addition to your knowledge and understanding. A slide should give a key message with the aid of a visual, so opt for good images. You want the slide to be visually appealing whilst relevant to what you're talking about. Keep the slides simple, focusing your content on key summaries. Too much detail, such as a mass of text and or figures on the slide will divert the interviewer's attention away from listening to what you're saying. If they want more information, the panel will ask you for it. Avoid just reading from the slide. The slide should really just give you pointers on the key items you want to demonstrate. Be precise and succinct. Pay attention to duration. Make sure the information you have to share can fit into the time slot allocated. The best way to prepare for this is to practice your talk. However, don't fall into the trap of reading from a script. The panel will consist of a number of people, so it's important to understand your audience. And remember, they're not necessarily a specialist in your subject area. If the information hasn't been provided, drop the organiser an email and ask if they could let you know who will be interviewing you and who they work for. The best talks are the ones that a non-specialist can understand. Keep to key points and make them short whilst remembering to link to the broader subject area. The interview panel wants to understand you. They're looking for what motivates you and the personal qualities that make you a good PhD candidate. Their questions are designed to do this. Remember to draw on your skills, experiences and competences. Don't forget to link to your broader, transferable skill set like communication, resilience, creativity and critical thinking, as well as your science skills. What can I expect from the interview section? You may be asked questions around your understanding of the broader topic area, how you would approach starting the project, what skills you think you are missing, and how you would address this, as well as stakeholder management and your experience of dealing with conflicts and challenges. So, what sort of skills should you tell them about? Remember, this is a PhD training programme. You will already have experience in some areas, but not all of them. So don't panic if you don't have all the skills the panel are looking for. You should be aware of what skills you don't have and what you will need to learn. A PhD involves working with many different groups of stakeholders, so make sure you demonstrate how your experiences have prepared you for this. It helps to have read and understood the project documentation. This will allow you to link your personal qualities and experiences to what is required. Try to make your answers unique. Some questions will not focus fully on the project. They may ask you to comment on the broader subject area, so you should understand how your project fits within the bigger picture. You might want to check out current news and papers in the area, with the aim to draw upon these in the interview, if you get the chance. If you're unsure of a question, it's OK to ask for it to be repeated and to take a moment to compose your answer. Don't second guess what the panel wants, there's no right or wrong answer. Prepare your own questions to ask. These could be project specific, be about the institution, the department, or any additional training you can access. It's a good idea to go through your initial written application to see what you've already said. It is okay to repeat examples and expand on them, as well as giving examples not used before. The panel will not necessarily have read your previous application, Use your existing networks to help you prepare. Speak to your current tutor, dissertation advisor and or employer, as they may have experience of sitting and interview panels. Talking to your peers who have recently gone through a similar process will be helpful too. And finally, 
Take advantage of any opportunity you may have to take part in mock interviews. Practice really does make perfect.